Well, hello and welcome to the Intuitive Message, your channel they call me Mitchell, and this is your energy forecast and intuitive message for today, Wednesday, July the 6th, 2016, and as always, thank you for taking time to retweet, post, subscribe, become a fan, support me on Patreon.com, check out my website, intuitivemitchell.com, where you'll see the button, monthly special, and the double spread there, it's two spreads, Path to Peace and the Forgive Me, Letting Go spread, so check that out, you get 20% off. Everything's there now. I, I made it easy for you. So the message today is this. Trying to change someone, someone else, not yourself. Trying to change someone is not the best way to show you love them. Allow them to be perfect just as they are. And, and this really comes back to, you know, understanding that we are, you know, spiritual beings having this human moment. And we're supposed to experience, many believe we're supposed to, and this is what we're here, is to experience all that we can. And you trying to change someone is your another way of you trying to control the situation, trying to control life and things around you. <sighs> you, be perfect as you are right now and allow the changes to happen within you. Your, your changes, your life, your energy shifts will allow others to change and shift and grow as needed. So um, if they're not asking for your help, don't help them. Let, them. let them be perfect as they are in this moment. So it's not the best way for you to show that you love them. You may think it is, but it's more about yourself trying to control the situation. So there's your message. So let's look at some cards and numbers for today and tomorrow. So today, all the numbers add up to four. Four is very practical, solid. It's this building formation. It's um, hard work. It's serious. And then Lenormand to go along with that energy is a woman. So when you read Lenormand cards, the woman is a significator of a woman. If you are a woman, it's about you. If you're not a woman, man, other, then it's about a woman in your life. Pepper is excited right now. She's running through the room. And then Tara to go along with the woman is going to be the queen of coins. So this is really about feminine energy and about a woman. And my queen of coins is often my Capricorn woman. She's a great mom. She's grounded. She's practical. So we're looking at this four energy today with this, with this grounded, practical woman. So today is like a day where I'd be like, wow, you're just going to feel really solid today. Very powerful, very strong, probably slow to move, slow to anger, slow to wonder, you know, just very methodical in your process today. Or you might be looking as a woman to this queen, Queen of Coins energy somewhere to help you, maybe help you finance something. Um, maybe it's your realtor helping you buy a home. Um, but yeah, so very practical, very centered kind of energy today with these two women and their cards. And it almost looks like the same person, just the side view, because she's kind of redhead in both. So thank you, Chiro. So tomorrow, the 20, what is tomorrow? The seventh day of the month, 7-7 seven, seven on the 2016. And all the numbers add up to five. And five is very shifty, moving, changing. Um, it's versatile. It's this freedom. It's resourceful. It's transition. Lenormand to go along with it is the mice card, number 23, which does equal five, which tells us there's a lot of underlying things going on because the mice card is often about stress, worries, loss, deterioration, fear. It's the things behind the scene that we don't see. You know, the mice nibble behind the scene and deteriorate. Lenormand, uh, Tara to go along with is a high priestess. So this could be about you being very sensitive, you being very uh, you know, intuitive, empathic, and you're feeling all the stuff behind the scenes. But also the high priestess is very wise, very knowing, very intelligent. She is one of the most intuitive cards um, and per people in the decks. So again, tomorrow, five energy is moving, shifting, changing, versatile. You know, trust your intuition as things move, as things shift. Trust your knowledge, trust your, you know, your intuition, trust your understanding of everything as things move and shift and change. And you'll be much more prepared for their changing and shifting. You know, it's like you know, you know something's coming and you're gonna prepare for it. You're gonna, you know, pack the necessary items and go. So there's your message for today and your readings and your energy and all that good stuff. So um, sending some heavy duty love and light and high vibration out to the world right now because I woke up this morning with 
just this overwhelming feeling of sadness. It was not my own. I checked in and it wasn't my own. And I just experienced it. I said, wow, all right, I'll feel that. I'll experience it to the fullest. Um, and usually when I feel this, there's, there's something either did happen or about to happen. So I haven't seen anything in the news and I didn't check a lot. So I'm sending some high vibration to the world wherever it needs it. Just like Reiki, let it go to where it needs it the most for our highest good and greatest growth. So um, there you go. Namaste. Check out my website, intuitivemitchell.com. The monthly special is there. The 16th, Past Life Group for Aggression of July. The 30th of July, um, Orlando Terror Tribe meets again. So bye-bye. Namaste.